We can't believe it. It is here. It is finally coming to bookshelves. We are so excited and we had to jump in here to remind you or tell you if you didn't know for the first time, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook is soon to be available, releasing January 17th. In fact, it's up for pre-order right now at Amazon. You can go follow the link below and we appreciate everyone that has already pre-ordered it and everyone that is going to pre-order it, right? We absolutely love this thing. We got our first copy and this thing, it, it's like it's a dream come true. Seeing it in person, all of our favorite recipes, so many hours that went into this. We cannot wait to share all of these goodies with you. So don't forget, check it out on Amazon. Make sure you pre-order. We do have a link to it in the description below this video. Use that link. And also we do have some additional goodies coming to those who do pre-order. So just want to make sure you know about that. We can't wait for you to check out the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook. And thanks again. Welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do no matter where we're doing it. Brett, where are we today? Triple B, Brett's Brickyard Bistro, where I am indeed the mayor of Saver Time. Saver, Saver Time? <laughs> Mayor of Savertown. Hi, words. Welcome to Saver Time, where we need to introduce to you. It's a new channel. Savory. Wall Twins has been overplayed. <laughs> now Saver, Saver time, time with the Wall Twins. Anyways, Wait. Brad, what are we doing today? Today we throw down a breakfast. Uh, this is a breakfast sandwich that Adam and I both have wanted to do for uh, quite, probably since we started cooking. Probably. We've so. done. Uh, it seems like just about every kind of breakfast sandwich except for this one. But instead of bread, we are using hash browns for the bun. Right, literally get to the groceries right away. You'll see what we're talking about. It's so simple, but we really have been wanting to do this one for a long time. But we're cutting to the chase. We're using these tater patties. Yes, the tater patties. Here we go right here. We are using American cheese. And then we've got bacon, sausage. Here they are, the tater patties right there. And egg, very simple, not pictured. Butter, and also not pictured. Salt and pepper. So, oh my gosh, they are in effect. We will have them out. They in effect. will be in effect, and we will That's make sure that. Correct. Happens. So we got the griddle fired mm -hmm. up, and we're ready to uh, start throwing down. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. First right, things first, first. We're gonna throw our buns down, aka the hash patties. Tater patties. Tater patties. And really, we're just getting these started. We can pull them whenever they are ready. Yep. These are gonna be cute little sandwiches. Yes, they are. Operation Umbrella. Oh, oh. <laughs> still working out a few kinks. <laughs> all right, next we're gonna go ahead and throw it. By the way, the whole griddle is set to low. All systems are on low. We will crank them up as needs be, but for now we find that this works best. Wow, that one just wanted to go right down the hole there. Here we go. <laughs> this is trying to escape. Totes trying to escape. escape. Oh, and we did decide on thin cut bacon. Yes. We are, we are thick cut bacon dudes, but Every once in a while, it just seems to be better for thin cut. Yep. We got the perfectly imperfect uh, bacon, bacon slices, apparently. It doesn't These affect the smell. Coming. Or the taste, I don't think. <laughs> all right, listen, we're gonna let this cook up, and this is not gonna take long at all, just a couple of minutes, and then we'll get to the sausage portion of this uh, meeting. Correct. All right, also not pictured was the, uh, the seasoning we're using for the hash browns. We're using this Joe's Fry Seasoning. Right, thank you, Wade Williams, for this magic dust. I love this it's stuff. so good. All right, Brad, I think your bacon's ready for a flippity flop, too. Is it? Isn't it? I'm a one and done. You are. And we did just clean Brad's griddle. <laughs> you saw yes, that video. <laughs> so you see, even the bacon's afraid to stick to this thing. <laughs> yes. Bacon is one thing that we definitely always seem to get at least a little bit of stubbornness. Right? Not today. Not today, player. All right, so you know, usually Brett and I are step-by-step, step, do one thing at a time to show how this is done. We've done so many of these breakfast sandwiches and breakfast cooks, that we're just gonna go ahead and move on and get the sausage on here as well, Brett. Yep, also known as sausage. <laughs> the sausage, total. <laughs> sausage or sausage? Comment below. Or don't. <laughs> It was so pretty. All right, yeah. <laughs> Here goes one patty. I'm gonna get the smasher and flatten them, but I gotta get some. Uh... Now the sausage has a little bit of fat, but they're not gonna shrink up too much. Brett apparently was going for some thickness Everdeens. All right, so we're just applying a little smash, not not a lot, because you don't want these big huge patties. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we may or may not be having big 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 patties. That's okay. We can cut these down if we need. <laughs> That is so bad. Um, 
Mm, it's cooking good, man. It is. All right, pull the bacon, and we're just about ready to, to start building. When the when the patties are done, we'll just build we them right eggs. here and let it go. Oh, the eggs, yes. We'll wait, we'll wait till these are just about done, and then we'll get the eggs going. Yep. All right, so you're gonna flip there the sausage. You got the nice little crust there. Nice crustification. Station yep. place nation. What? 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 And we're gonna give our patties. Nice, getting a nice little GBD action going on GBD, there. GBD, baby. They did absorb a little bit of the bacon grease. We're gonna leave them, leave actually, them on just a little bit longer. It'll help crisp them up. That might not be a bad thing, Adam. That might not be a bad, might not be a bad <laughs> thing. It's not gonna be a bad thing. Indeed. All right, let this go and then we'll get our eggs on when these are just about done and then we'll build. All right, we're calling it audible. Listen, these are our homemade sandwiches. We want them to fit, plus we need some snack and sausage. So Brett is going ahead and he's gonna make these precision cuts. There we go. There we go. This is just to make sure <laughs> the sausage is, is a tater patty size. There we go. Now this can go finish cooking. Thank you for your help. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -uh. no, that's okay. We'll figure it out. Brett, yeah. I think it's time to layeth the eggeth down. Layeth the eggeth <laughs> down. Exactly right. Here's the first one. We're going to go slow because we know that it is sloping to the right. There we go. And the second egg. Nice. Brett. Yes, salt and pepper, they're here. And they are in effect. Let those go for about a minute and then we'll flip them. So, ladies and gentlemen, there they are. In all their glory. And all their wonderment. Look oh at those. Gosh. They're starting to sag because they're just hot and they're ooing <laughs> the, the and gooey. The cheese is melty. I'm thinking. Uh, no, I think we can oh, do this. I think it's we can do this. Here we go. Do. You want right, to do it right let's now? Do it. It's still Here hot. we go, man. Here I think it's going to be too hot. Oh. Brett says it's not going to be too hot. I'm going to take go. his word because he's usually the wimpier one on this. Although this one feels really hot. This is dense. Brett, like this we say, can look amazing. These look absolutely Let me amazing. poke you in the eye with it. You lost a little bit of uh, potato there. Oh, no. Like we say, they can smell oh. amazing. Can I get a smell? Yeah. Smell? Yeah, you can. I just need to take one more sniffity sniff. <sighs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, this is all, all for, for not. Cheers. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my brother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shut up. Mm. That, that is, fry seasoning, yeah, perfection. That is, you know everything that you're getting in this, and it tastes as good as you think it's going to. I think Which is, I mean, this might be a new favorite breakfast my, sandwich. My takeaway, my takeaway, honestly. And by the way, the hash browns we were worried were gonna be a little bit of soggy because the uh, the griddle was at an angle where the the um, bacon grease started getting into it. So I tried to move it around, but still got bacon grease in there. But these crispy, 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 crispy. I'm 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 loving it. I need I'm some bad. of the yolk. Hold on, yeah, let's try this one. You could do scrambled eggs on this. You could do eggs anyway. But whatever it is you do, do it. Yeah. Um, honestly, while we were sitting there waiting for them to cool, and I I felt the felt the potato felt the tater patty. My immediate thought was, I wonder if this is going to suffice enough to where I don't miss bread. Like, this is perfect. Yep, there you go. I got gunky gunks on You get starches from the potato, but hey, you're not eating the bread. I am so satisfied. This is such a satisfying sandwich. Now, if this may seem simple, you might be, wait, Walt Twins are literally just throwing uh, hash browns, bacon, eggs, and sausage again. Yeah, yeah. we are. We, we are. have a video where we just literally made eggs. So. But <laughs> But the fact of the matter is sometimes it's looking for something a bit creative. We recently on TikTok uploaded our hash brown huge monster omelet. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's taking these things that are simple and just giving you a new creative idea, something. Like we said, we've wanted to do something like this for a long time. We've never made this exact sandwich. And I'm gonna tell you, this will not be the last time. Correct, I a hundo. I can't a wait hundo. to show my family. Yep, everyone's gonna love it. This is definitely gonna be a crowd favorite for sure. <laughs> right, and a crowd pleaser. <laughs> I want to say flavor. Right, if you like this cook and this gave you something, a new idea of something 
something that you can do on your griddle, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below this video. And don't forget the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook. Yes, it is, is available on for pre-order pre on Amazon. We love it. We're so excited. We are here for it. We finally have our official copy and we are so, so, so excited. Thank you to those who have already pre-ordered. Again, there will be some extra goodies coming your way yep. as incentive for pre-ordering uh, some additional recipes. Yep. We got to get those together. We're ready. But otherwise, let's get out of here. Let's I want to go fast. Oh this. yeah. We are. So, by the way, we uh, we get together. We do a lot of these cooks. This is the first thing we're eating today. Right. And it's and it's after lunch, three thirty in the afternoon. <laughs> it's time. Perfect time, time for eat. breakfast. What time do you eat breakfast? <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> Aside from coming to knock out this banger, this amazing, my new favorite breakfast sandwich. Yeah, mine probably. too. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. Yeah. And don't forget to like and surprise. Surprise. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. <laughs> surprise. <laughs>